date of the recording of this video is October 24th, 2021. We've had an interesting two years in gaming. Based on everything that's gone on in the world, video games have been delayed, some even scrapped, some pushed, finally some were released in a busted state, Cyberpunk, I'm talking to you. And even some of them were released, even though they were in a, in quote, complete state, they were delivered in a format that gamers did not like, one of them being Marvel's Avengers. And since then, a lot of people have looked at any Marvel game that has been coming out in the past few weeks or months or being announced through some kind of a weird lens. Even Marvel's Midnight Suns, it took a while for people to realize, hey, folks, that's a whole different format. That is a different format from a company that's made games in a whole different game genre and format. So people then calm down. In fact, they almost wanted to jump in and say, oh, it's like another Avengers. But along the line, they kind of, you know, screeched and held the brakes and were like, OK, this is not Avengers. So when Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy was first revealed, Field, I can imagine how a lot of people already had that same frame of mind because Marvel's Avengers for most people did not click. In fact, I thought to myself, for somebody who bought two copies, I thought I had actually not spent enough time playing the darn game. And I looked at my Steam library the other day and I found that I actually dumped about 38.9 or so hours on this game. And I was shocked. I said, wow, I can't believe I actually played the game long enough to enjoy, uh, you know, some aspects of it. And I did. I enjoyed the fact that Black Widow was a playable character. That was a very interesting highlight. But at the end of the day, the entire format of the game did not click for me. It just seemed like I understood later on that this was what the developers had set up. And it was going to continue to be this monotony in terms of the grind. And I was not really ready to do that in a superhero based game. Well, slotting Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, when it first was shown, a lot of people thought it was going to be Marvel's Avengers, but it is not at all in any way close to the Avengers format. In fact, it takes its combat and takes some of its gameplay mechanics from one of the Final Fantasy games. And for many, this is a good thing. So I think this is one of the saving graces of this game. I don't know in what time frame this game was in development, but I think it's interesting that the game came out in this sense. Who knows? Perhaps they were probably working on the game to have you play as all four characters, maybe play all the story missions and then have you do some end game. But as they started to see that Marvel's Avengers was not necessarily in a sense resonating with gamers, they probably changed their minds. But I doubt it because a change like that is a very, very significant one because it's a change to narrative, a change to a whole lot of things, including the way the game will progress from start to end. So I think this game was already being developed with the format in mind from ground up, which is actually nice. So when you give these IPs or when IPs are actually placed in the hand of a publisher or a development studio, it is a point for the creative director to basically find a way to actually make the game meet some of the desires of the top brass or whoever may be calling the shots. But somehow Eidos Montreal, I think already had established their strength in their Final Fantasy fr you know, franchise development that I think they decided to go for this. And in my opinion, I think that is something that we can as gamers come around and say, okay, this is actually a good thing. So where does this game stand right now? So me, what I usually love to do is I run around the internet. I look for as many of these videos as I can. I click play, I click pause, and I start to scroll down and just read. So hundreds and hundreds of comments, just trying to glean what gamers are saying. Now, this is not a format that anybody can say, oh, this is something that is a formal survey or something that we can use for real time research. No, 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 no. This is just my own personal curiosity, trying to hear feedback from what players say, especially from some of the things that they're seeing in that video or have seen. And what's really interesting is there is a consensus of gamers that have agreed that this is a game that will more than likely make it into their library come full price or sale or holiday or free or whatever. They want to have this game and play this game which is really interesting. And the reason, which is funny, that they want to have this game and play this game, and this is not all everybody, I'm not saying that, is specifically because it's not a Marvel Avengers style game, which goes to show something that the gaming industry needs to pay very close attention to. And that is the quality of games that a majority of its gamer base will enjoy. And if they want to make money, they have to build on these systems to make money 
or continue to keep the core systems, fine tune them and refine them in order to gain credibility, which will then in turn bring money. You know, the old school way of making money, right? Not the cash grabs. So let's look at a game like God of War from 2018. The creative director basically did not want a single piece of DLC or any kind of extra thing that did not seem like it was a fair monetary aspect of the game. In fact, the game came out with a, a comic and a digital deluxe edition, which was also, you know, something that was pretty cool. But these were things that, you know, to me seemed like they were fair aspects of the game. And everybody in the gaming world thought, yeah, there's no way this is a cash grab in any sense. So people really did love this. And people, you know, were, uh, you know, people rallied around this. And I think that's what these game development companies need to continue to do. And so, however, Gardens of the Galaxy turns out, I think you have to respect the fact that the developers are actually doing what it is that they know how to do best. And if they come out with another game down the road, having taken feedback from this particular game, by the way, which one of the biggest feedbacks is people wish that they could play like, you know, or play as their favorite characters, by the way, that's what everybody wants to do. People want to play as the other characters as well. I think having taken that feedback, it will probably give them a little bit more insight as to how to deliver a game that would even satisfy the audience even more. So a game like Marvel's Avengers, we do not expect to see very soon. And we hope we never see anything like that in terms of the superhero genre, because now we can hold both games up and say, whoa, look at this game that basically came from this publisher and this other game and how the community has responded to both games. And so if the publisher were to maybe follow suit and do the right thing, we can say, okay, Square Enix, you're on point. But if they go back to the old ways, we can always call them out and say, no, we are not paying for this and they can be held accountable. Now, here's another really interesting thing about this game as well. Marvel Avengers was des designed for you to be playing, you know, for hundreds and hundreds of hours, you know, engaging in microtransactions and spending a whole bunch of money. In the case of this game, there is talk out there that the game is not longer than 15 hours. Now, I don't know how true this is. I am expecting to get my copy and, you know, basically start firing the game up and playing immediately the game comes out. So I'm not really certain as to this. But from what I've heard, I mean, some people are like, well, this is not necessarily the price point we want to pay for a full game. Now, I can understand how a wide consensus of gamers, you know, feel this way because the value that we've usually gotten from $60 games is usually really, really big. If you think about how many hours of gameplay you get from, say, a basic Ubisoft game, Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Far Cry 6, I played on the channel, by the way, if you want to check out that content, you know, please do so. And I'm putting about 50 something hours in that game. And so that's actually quite significant uh, compared to a game where, you know, the game may be 15 hours of gameplay and all of the above. I think that, you know, people might get some concern in that, say, maybe the perception that the game may be short now. We cannot confidently say that this is the case number one. So I'm putting that disclaimer and I'm actually making sure I emphasize it. So somebody doesn't go quote me in the comment section as saying that the game is 15 hours. This is what I've just heard. But again, is it necessarily a bad thing that the game is just 15 hours? I mean, that's a big question that we need to kind of evaluate. And let's look around and see exactly what's been going on so far. So one of my favorite games, uh, even though I'm not a Marvel fan, <laughs> it's crazy is Spider-Man Miles Morales. The game is like six hours long. If you kind of just, you know, ran through the missions and all that stuff, you could play it for even a shorter period of time. But that game came out at a $49 price tag, if you get what I mean. I mean, it was quite the price. Was it $39? I'm sorry. I think it was about $39 uh, for the price tag of that game. And so I thought to myself, well, if you kind of think about it, Ratchet and Clank also is reported to be within the short range of games. And it's not necessarily the $70 price tag, which, you know, Sony had put on that game itself. So here are a few things that I believe strongly. You see, more could be better, but sometimes less could be more. So this is a game where because of all of what we're seeing so far, people are getting interested, but people are more careful, which is wonderful. You see, for the longest time, gamers had been taken by hype and all of the above, but now people are much more in a scrutinizing mindset that this game, yes, it will be scrutinized. It will be accepted. It will be loved. But many people have said, you know, for the price point, I don't know if I can justify how many hours of gameplay there are here. Another thing, too, that we don't necessarily know is extra exploration of the content at large. You see a game like Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, that game came out and it was like a 20, 25 hour game. But somebody like me, I've already played about, 
happened <laughs> 200 hours of that game because i enjoyed some of the game's aspects the end game activities and a lot of the exploration which has cost me extra hours to find and try to complete and 100 the game so could this game have those elements that would allow for extended play perhaps not the one to 200 hour game that you know game sequence that i've actually dropped in a game like jedi fallen order but at least something close down the road because not only should a game have a good progression but an overly long progression might be you know somewhat jarring and eventually cause the player to enter into boredom real quick which would then create another immersion breaking problem so who knows maybe guardians of the galaxy is a game that is suited for 15 hours and that's the best decision the developers made at the end of the day is a decision of the gamer to choose and say i will engage this game at this price point so when you look at everything so far the nature of the game the length of the game and its progression and the fact that it's even coming from the same publisher perhaps a different you know mindset and creative direction i think we can say that this game is going to avoid a lot of the disasters of the avengers game if it has its own disasters then it will be its own custom disasters if you get what i mean but i'd love to hear your thoughts once you engage the game today or if you've already started playing what do you think talk to me in the comment section i appreciate you guys so much peace out